Hi, everyone. Welcome to AppGeeker channel. Let's say you have an iPhone and an iPad, and sometimes you'd like to sync your iPhone to iPad so that you can view and manage your files on a larger screen. So in today's video I'm going to tell you how to sync everything from your iPhone to your iPad, so you can get exactly the identical data on both your iPhone and iPad. Okay. First, the easiest way I'm telling you is to use your iCloud account. Each Apple user has an Apple account, right? Your Apple account is also your iCloud account. And before we get started, we need to make sure that your iPhone and iPad are using the same Apple account. If not, the rest of the sync won't happen. Okay now, on your iPhone, let's find settings, just open it. And here, under settings, you can see your name, tap it and here shows your Apple ID, your name, and under the name is your email account. This is the email account you used to sign in with your iCloud. Alright, now, on your iPad, as the same, we open settings, you can see the settings and Apple ID on the same screen. Here, also under your profile, find your email account. It has to be the same one you used on your iPhone, or it's not going to sync files from your iPhone to iPad. Okay, here the two accounts are identical. And now we scroll down a little bit, here's iCloud. You can see by default your iCloud account has 5 GB cloud storage. Actually, it's not enough for syncing your entire iPhone to your iPad. In that case, you also have the option to upgrade your iCloud to the premium service, iCloud Plus. Or just try the second method in this video. Okay, you can see several options. And now, it's your time to pick everything you want to sync with your iPad. Whatever you want, just simply toggle it on. It's like, if I want to sync photos, I just turn on iCloud Photos, okay. You can do the same on your iPhone, and sync whatever you want. Once enabled, it's not finished yet, on the iPad now, we need to do the same, enable the same options, to get this iPad attached to your iCloud too. Okay, turn it on, and back to the home screen. Now open photos on both iPhone and iPad. See, what you have on your iPhone is now all on your iPad. Well, I have to say sometimes it may take a long time if your network is not good, or your photos and files are too large. Most of time, it's pretty easy. Just make sure you're using the same Apple ID, and your iCloud has enough storage for the sync. Well, if your iCloud is running out of storage, which happens a lot, or your photos and files are too large to sync, then here's a perfect solution to fix it. Let me show you how. Okay, what I'm going to do is to sync everything from this iPhone to iPad using this all-in-one tool, Phone Transfer. You can click the download link below this video or get it from AppGeeker. Now, in the search bar, enter appgeeker.com. From the home page, under products, click on the phone transfer. Okay, download it now. I'm using a Windows PC right now. If you're a Mac user, go to the Mac version here. Now, let's launch it on the computer. Okay, here are several options at the toolbar. We're going to sync everything from iPhone to iPad, so, go to phone transfer first. And it's between iOS devices, so I choose phone to phone. Okay. Now, the on-screen instruction tells you to connect the source and destination devices. It's going to transfer everything from one device to another. Let's get it. I just connect the iPhone first. Okay. Here, I will unlock my iPhone and make it trust my computer. Then, the device on the right is for the iPad. Okay. Plug iPad into computer. Here is also a flip button in case you want to switch them. Okay. Now, it's scanning the files on my iPhone. And from the middle box, you can see the data types that you can move very clear. And right now, I just pick a couple of files. You can choose all if you want. And now start. Okay, the loading bar up here is running quick. Well, it completes so quick. Let's check. Photos, contacts, all identical now. It basically copies everything from this iPhone to the iPad. Straightforward and fast. And that's it. A very friendly tool for all users. Well, if you're willing to share data between your iPhone and iPad selectively instead of moving all desired content at a time, then AirDrop is your top pick. First, we turn on AirDrop on both iPhone and iPad. Okay. Swipe down from the home screen. We see this control center box. Now, I open the network settings card. And over here, I just press the AirDrop icon for a second. Okay. To send and receive files between iPhone and iPad, I'm going to set it on receive files from everyone. All right, on the iPad, we just repeat the same options. Okay now, this iPhone and iPad have both enabled AirDrop. I put the iPhone and iPad near each other. Now, back to the iPhone, 
I just pick some photos that I want to share with my iPad. You can select whatever you want from your iPhone. Okay. Here we take pictures as an example. I find an iPhone photo and tap the share icon. Here, I can also swipe left and right to pick more photos as I like. Then from the share options below, you can see the airdrop by default. Now I just choose airdrop and it quickly shows all the airdrop users nearby. Now, find the iPad, tap it. Okay. Now on the iPad, you can see a message jump out. It says that someone shares a file with you. We want to keep the files on this iPad, so tap accept to receive it. And now, I can view the received pictures on my iPad. Very quick and simple. Okay, that's what we have for today. I hope you enjoyed the video, and do not hesitate to subscribe and give it a like. Thanks for watching. I'll see you next video.